wait, wait, wait. What is Manchester United trying to do? You are trying to lowball Everton. Like, we all know Manchester United and British players. They're like five and six. You love British players. And there is nothing wrong with British players. And when it comes to British players, you have to pay the premium. I, see, I understand the British players are overrated, overhyped, and overpaid for. But it comes with the culture. You know it. You've been doing it for years. Now it comes to Brian Twitch. You are trying to low ball. How much do you pay for Maguire? Sancho. And you're going to go with to go with this 45 plus 5 for brown weight that most of your fans have been overhyping already. Most of you are expecting to join Manchester United. Is a young, impressive central defender. It's still a little bit rough around the edges for me, but you can see the potential there. But we know he wasn't carrying a British passport. This bit would have been enough for Brian Sweet. But the fact that he's English and he's young, you are going to pay premium. Oh, my apologies. My apologies. I didn't do my usual protocol. Uh, before we continue, please uh, do me that kind of favor by striking the like button. Very, very important. Subscribe, hit subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. One more time for those that are back with me for the first time. Let me repeat a bit more slowly. Like the video, subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. So the second bid for Brandt Wade has gone in uh, from Manchester United. According to David, Manchester United improved offer for Gerard Brandt Wade to 45 plus 5. As uh, Chris Wheeler, DM review, new Manchester United proposal for below Everton valuation has no chance of being accepted. You see, no chance. As in, they are not even taking it seriously. You guys are still kidding. Uh, Everton sees Maguire, Fafana, and Govadio as price benchmark. See, if you paid 80 million pounds for Maguire five years ago, I will see Maguire is a bozo. And you think Everton will accept 45 plus 5 for their young, promising English defender. Now, personally, I don't really value the rates. Browns, I think it's a decent defender at best. Now, he's still young, so there's still room and gap for improvement, which I understand. I've seen him play. I've seen him being bullied by Holland. So, he still needs a bit of uh, refining. But we all know when it comes to English players, they are just, you just have to pay the premium. So, mind you playing this game, and so mind you fans say they ask uh, Everton to work out. Uh, sorry, much decided to walk away from the deal. Stop lying to yourself. So, see, I am 70% sure, mind you, will try and wrap up this deal. They will pay. Mind you, see, all the structure, structure, Dan Hashford and the rest of the backroom staff, I understand they will negotiate better with Everton. But guess what? Everton will stand their ground for the British talent and they will get at least 75 to 80 million. Everton will get at least 75 to 80 million. That's just when it comes to British players, you just have to pay the premium. So, this low body and playing cat and mouse with Everton, Manchester United, stop it. We, they all know you. you are notorious for doing this in, in the past. I understand that's in the past. You are trying to rebuild your brand, you are trying to rebuild your. Your, your 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 strength in terms of not just uh letting other things pull down your pants figuratively but when it comes to players like this especially british players sorry there's nothing done about it either you pay whatever you do business no matter how you play the, the, the gamesmanship you have to pay when it comes to british talent and we all know it's a tradition in england so this is the second bid, right? The first bid was rejected. Second bid was rejected. Let's see if Mayu will go in with the third bid, which I, I think Mayu will go in with the third bid. Uh, all the shenanigans of the fans online saying Mayu should walk away. We know fans are flip-floppers. Fans don't stand by any standard. Fans are flitting. So I think Mayu will go in with that bid. Maybe 60 plus 10. Let's see. But I think eventually... Uh, mind you have to pay up to 75 at least to 80 million for Everton to consider it seriously. That's just it. Like the Everton has put it right there. They see, look at the benchmark. They see Maguire, Bo Bozo, Fafana who has been a flop at Chelsea. He has barely played, always injured. Govodio, uh, yeah, has been fantastic for Man City last season, scoring clutch goals, uh, playing as a left back of center half, but he's still a good buy. But to compare Brian's with. Gavodio is wild from Everton. 
This guy is still young. He hasn't played Champions League. Cavadio has played Champions League. He hasn't played in high intensive intensive game in terms of uh, the upper echelon of the league table, compete for the league. So he's a bit raw, but I understand you are paying for talent and potential. But this price is, like I said, I'm not surprised. When it comes to British talent, you are paying for potential and you are paying for the passport. PP, potential and passport when it comes to British players. So, mind you, you started it. You've been doing it for years. The culture continues. So, guys, let me know what you think about it. Do you think my you should walk? Or do you think my you should actually go for this defender? For me, decent defender at most. I don't see him as a world beater. Like I said, he's still young. So, my opinion on it can still change. But I've seen decent, not worthy of the 80 million, 75 to 80 million uh, pounds that ever seen at demand. But I understand when it comes to British talent, when it comes to British players, you have to just pay the premium. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section regarding this potential transfer to my of Brantwood to Manchester United. Do you see value in it, or do you think Everton are doing what most other teams have done to my, which is to put their pants down figuratively? Let me know in the comment section. On your way out, be kind enough to strike the like button. Very, very important for the growth of the channel uh, for, so, uh, and help me to grow this uh, community. Like the video, subscribe. And make sure you turn on your notification bell. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.